This is Ricardo Suave from Jamaica, and you're watching Sports Talk with Lionfoot TV, the man himself, Lionfoot. Hey! Bless the love and greetings, viewers and subscribers, kings and queens, Lana Lionfoot, speak up for yourself. Welcome to Sports Talk. I don't know why I should talk about sports. You know what I mean? Reason about decision making from referee, teams, performance. You know what I mean? So I don't know if you're a sports fan, shout out to your team. Yeah man, let me know the support in the comment section below. Yes, so all uh, the lovers of football. Liverpool fans, what's happening? What's going on? No consistency. What is going on? Liverpool got hammered, mullered, beaten, bullied at home. Of the community stadium. Brentford. Brentford proved once more that they are not a pushabout team. They're here to stay for at least one more season in the Premier League. I think Frank, that man is doing a good job with their coach. The manager, you know. Um, Brentford, beating, Charles, beat, beating Man City. They've beaten quite a few of the big teams them. Big points off them. You know, um, all the team that beat them is the team running away with the league the team at the top Arsenal is the only team that beat them so far at their, on their ground some of you as and subscribers I don't know what's going on with Liverpool 3-1 um, got beaten up home two disallowed goals all Liverpool fans what's going on man what's going on let me know what's going on what do you think is wrong no midfield what happened to the midfield is the midfield tired? You need to refresh up with some young players. What's going on with the, with the centre backs, the left back? Virgil van Dijk got substituted. What the hell is going on? Wow. Wow. 3 1. And Brentford had two goals disallowed also. You know? Um, two goals disallowed for offside and, um, yeah. Offside and I think it's a handball. But yeah, Liverpool also got a goal um, disallowed. Offside from Nunes. What's going on with Nunes? He, what a man can jog shot wide. Every shot he takes, he jogs them wide. You know? Every shot he takes, he jogs them wide. What's going on? Is he struggling to cope with the Premier League? Viewers and subscribers, I don't know what's going on with, with uh, Liverpool, trust me. Very shocking performance from them. And do you think they're going to make it in the top four? <laughs> because the second half, of, now is the new year. You know, the second half of the season is coming up. Two more games to go, 19 games. You know, we already, we already played 17 games. You know, and Brentford are two points behind Liverpool. Liverpool is about 19 points off the top, top t the top two, Arsenal City. Last week I saw Liverpool play Leicester City and they were fortunate. You know, they were lucky. I felt sorry for Leicester because I thought Leicester played well, scored the first goal, and were unlucky to. <laughs> concede <laughs> two own goals that's how Liverpool won the game two own goals by from Leicester and Liverpool won the game 2-1 you know um, we saw they were 2-0 down they came back and draw 2-2 Liverpool time and time again I don't know Trent, Ar Trent Ar Arnold Trent Arnold I don't know what's wrong with him. He's off it this season. I don't know if he's get if he get if he get complacent, you know, and think like he's untouchable. He cannot be subbed. He cannot be benched. You think that's in the mindset of some of the players? Then why why they're not performing? Got Trent on Trent on all his defense. His defensive side of the game is shambles, man. Shambles. Yeah. I mean, um. Van Dijk got substituted. I don't know what went wrong if he got a knock or um, club seen enough and think like he's struggling, you know. 
Buemo gave him a hard time that played for Cameroon, the, the striker, they scored the third goal. He gave them a hard time. And Wissa. <laughs> so players, my, 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 my question is, do you think Liverpool will make it to the top four? Or you think they're going to miss out? Let me know in the comment section below. All the Liverpool fans, I want to hear you in the comment section. Do you still believe in Klopp? Do you think it's time for Klopp to go? I'm asking all these questions because I want to know. Do you think it's time for Klopp to move on? Do you think he needs to sign some more, a two more midfielder? Instead of penetrating and striking up front, strike, strike up front. He signed, um, he signed, he signed recently the, the, the Dutch player. You know, the Dutch striker. I think he should have signed a midfield. And maybe one more defence because Liverpool is struggling with injury prone. You know, the injuries, they're struggling. Midfield, like they're coming of age. You know, and... I don't know what's going on, but something is definitely not right in the Liverpool squad. Yeah, man, something not right. Something not right, move viewers and subscribers. So let me know, guys. Um, tomorrow Arsenal face Newcastle. What do you, what, what? Any predictions? I think we're gonna nick a two-one. I think Arsenal gonna nick a two-one. It's gonna be a very tough game. Yes, Newcastle coming to the Emirates, and I know the game plan. They're gonna come with physicality. And try to bully us off the off the ball, but that ain't, that ain't gonna happen no more. This team that Arteta build is very solid and mature, and they they're not gonna get bullied no more. So I know the man the, the game that Lucas is gonna bring tomorrow, but the fans is there. Shout out the fans is there is gonna be behind Arsenal, you know. So let me know your prediction. Let me know the score. What do you think tomorrow, Arsenal Newcastle? Yes, man. And, if you have a team that you support, let me know what you think. Where your team gonna finish in the Premier League? This is Sports Talk. Big up yourself. Don't forget to like and share the content. Subscribe, click the bell. I'm out. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching Lion Foot TV.